Welcome, herniated discs. Bulging discs, disc degeneration. Commonly talked about constantly, over and over, every day. Throughout different doctor's offices, therapists, and other types of healthcare providers. This is something I want to give you a little simple explanation about the difference. Realize that the spine, composed of 24 movable vertebrae, have discs in between, most of them, in the exception of the atlas and the occipital area on top. These discs are mainly composed of water. These discs have annular fibers around the outside that keeps it nice and strong. Inside the disc is a nucleus pulposus, which is a gel-like substance. Degeneration occurs only for one reason, from wear and tear, excessive stress that's put on a particular area. The upper torso being the majority of weight of our body is obviously going to put the most stress in the lower back. Although today, texting, looking down on a computer, poor posture, forward head posture, anterior head carriage, rounded shoulders, working against gravity, going forward, putting excessive stress, the weight of the head being 12 pounds multiplies continuously per each inch that we go forward an additional 10 pounds. Therefore, over time, discs start to wear and tear. The neurological component of the spine is in the posterior one half of the posterior back of the vertebrae. The anterior part being composed of the vertebral bodies have no disc or let's say no neurological component in the front. The neurological components are behind the vertebrae. The opening of the spine as the spine goes down, it's called the intervertebral foramen, which is the hole where the nerves come out of, the 31 pairs of spinal nerves. These nerves go to all different parts of the body, in the neck, they go down the shoulder, arm, hand, fingers, in the mid-back, they go around the ribs, lower back, they go down the lower back, down the legs, called sciatica. But these nerves do compose and make up the viscera, which is the heart, the lungs, the liver, the gallbladder, the spleen, small, large intestines, sexual reproductive organs, all and everything going on in your body right now. Unfortunately, those viscera do not have the pain sensitive fibers as muscles and bones do within, our, within your body. The disc, from an anatomical position, we look at the disc, you look at the outside fibers of a, of a normal disc. The disc, as it becomes worn and torn, it starts to become thinner. As the disc becomes thinner, the outside fibers become weaker, making the inside gel more vulnerable to protrude and break the outside of those fibers, called a herniated disc. There are many different types of herniations. There's uh, sequestered discs, there's prolapsed discs. Although, for our sake, herniation means that the outside of the fibers have torn, the inside uh, nucleus has bulged through it to some degree, causing it to be a herniated disc. A bulging disc looks like, don't have it here, but the bulging disc kind of would resemble a bulge, kind of like you putting your thumb in a marshmallow and seeing a bulge sticking out on the other side. That's what happens on the discs. Degenerative disc basically means that the disc has gone thinner. The problem with degeneration is that the vertebrae come closer together. The disc is supposed to keep the vertebrae far apart to keep the hole open to where the nerve comes out. As the vertebrae become closer together, the space called the IVF space becomes smaller allowing more compression and irritation on that nerve. Although there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people with degenerative disc disease that don't even know it. There are hundreds of thousands of people who have herniated discs that don't even know it. The bottom line is a bulging disc can cause more pain than a herniated disc if it's compressing a neurological structure called the nerve root or into the spinal cord. A degenerative disc can be asymptomatic or symptomatic depending upon how much inflammation, how much osteoblastic activity. That means that extra calcium being laid down, osteoarthritis, usually degenerative joint disease goes hand in hand with degenerative disc disease. As a disc becomes thinner, the joints become more worn and torn. The cartilage becomes more irregular. You start getting extra calcium being laid in there. We call it osteoarthritis or arthritis. So the big question here is degeneration. Degeneration comes from faulty posture, wear and tear. For example, being heavy, being obese puts more stress and weight on the lower part of the spine, the L5S1 down in here. Generally, we'll see a lot of degeneration. People who put a lot of force on their body, people that squat, people that do a lot of heavy weights, particularly 
uh, with the lower back is going to have more degeneration. Well, you may be saying I have no symptoms, but if you take an x-ray and you see the disc is very thin, that is degeneration. Although, the question here is can degenerative discs heal and become nice and regular and healthy again? The answer is no. Once the, once the tire wears out, you have to replace the tire. You cannot replace the disc, so that means you need to strengthen around the disc, the muscles, the alignment, make sure it's aligned, and make sure you have good posture. Good posture means strong core. Strong core basically stabilizes not only the lower back, but actually up into the neck as, as well. A weak core will make you, when you sit, will make the, po will make the, the pelvic rock posterior like this, rock backwards. It will cause a hunching, causes the back to hunch over, causes the head to go forward, causes more stress on the discs. And again, when discs become worn and torn as they degenerate, you're more susceptible to have bulging and herniated discs. So, in summary, a degenerative disc means the disc is thinning between the vertebrae, okay? A bulging disc means that the disc from the inside, the, the, the annular fibers uh, has been, is protruding out from the gel from the inside pushing outwards, kind of like you're pushing your finger into the marshmallow, okay? A herniated disc means the outside fibers became so weak that it actually just tore on its own. Although, a herniated disc or bulging disc means nothing if it's not affecting the nerve. Although, what do you do for these conditions? Most important thing is get back to posture, get back to strengthening, get back to doing the right things, keeping the weight down, exercising, eat good nutrition. Remember, the discs become avascular, almost avascular. They don't get a lot of blood circulation. That means through diffusion, through movement, that's going to help repair and heal within that disc. Although discs can only heal so much, depending upon your age, depending upon your genetics and other factors as well. If you have any questions, you can leave them below. I do hope I, I helped give you somewhat, some good information for you. I ask you to subscribe if you haven't so you can continue to receive more of a health preventative self-help videos. Share this with a friend, as I say. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.